and uh, therefore I will uh, speak about the Traeger approach this, uh, this time. You want it to be on the table, please come. So Dave uh, was speaking with me just before we started, and uh, he said, yes, I would love to come on the table because I had to carry it quite a lot this week. Say something about how you feel in your body after having to carry all this heavy stuff. What is the sensation? Yeah. I feel a pain in my left shoulder. Pain in the left shoulder. So, first thing that we are teaching in the Traeger approach is that we can uh, give a suggestion to our own bodies to feel different. And just say to yourself now, had I been feeling a little bit uh, uh, softer in my left shoulder, how would it feel? Say it uh, inside. But just say it and see if it uh, makes any kind of difference. Now, if you have any pain in your body now, you can say the same for yourself. Had it been a little bit uh, lighter, softer, uh, cozier, whatever you want to, it to be, how would it feel? So, I, I, I saw that his shoulders are like this uh, position. That they, they do look like someone who carried a lot of weight. So maybe the first thing that I'll give uh, Dave is uh, how would it feel instead of carry weight to be carried? So I'm supporting this shoulder and giving the sensation that this shoulder can now let go. And Dave can let go. Because you see, he's not holding his hand, he's really letting go. But I give him the sensation of, of how it feels in his body. And this is something he is able to use afterwards. <coughs> when he gets off the table, he can really ask himself, Oh, how did it feel when Avi was carrying my shoulder? It's about the sensation. Oh, it felt... Mm. Now, now tell me, Dave how this feels. Is it a good feeling or, yeah, it's, it's good? good? Feeling, okay. Yeah. So you can recall that sensation whenever and feel, feel again good because, <coughs> you know, the sensation is marked in your brain. Now I'm taking a little bit his hand because carrying things is not only the shoulders, it's also the hands and I do feel they are very heavy. So I show him a little bit about how could it feel lighter. Okay? Let's feel how it, how does it feel now this side compared to this side? How is it? It's feeling mm -hmm. better. What does it mean better? How does it feel? Uh, less pain. Less pain already. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to fix him or anything. I'm just giving him a different sensation from what we had. I can ask now in my own mind and you can ask in your mind, how would it feel? here in your rib cage, had it been more flexible and softer. What is softer in your rib cage? And already it changed. That something let go immediately in this uh, kind of, uh, in this part of his body. That's good. Just now feel the weight of the hand. Now just let go. Just Feel your own head, the weight of your head. So again, I'm giving you the support. The table is giving you the support all the time. But I'm giving you the support to specific places, like in the neck. I give you specific support on the neck. And now to the head. Here is the weight of your head. And here is your neck. And here is the relationship between them. So I move your head on the neck. Now I'm moving the whole spine that is connected to the neck. It's the same spine. So the whole body moves. Just feel it. It is on the table and it's moving. Good. And then I let go again in my own body. Because whenever I do anything with him, my body needs to be supported too. This is what I started to explain before. The secret is my own relationship with the ground. I need to feel the ground supporting me. And from there, when I take the weight of Dave, I'm connecting him to the ground as well. So he can easily let go as well. 
I will give him a little bit of sensing the legs because when he's standing, it is through the legs that he has to receive the support from the, of the earth. So I want to connect it to the legs. So here is the weight of your leg. And here is the connection. You see, all the body is moving when I'm just weighing the leg. You know, the secret of shoulders, or this junction of the shoulder and the neck, to let go there, is that that part of the body has to recognize the earth as a supportive element while we are sitting or standing. Yeah, so why did you change your position? Because when you are leaning <coughs> back like this, this part doesn't uh, get support. When I'm straight, it can get the support. Walk again and see what do you feel now in your body. Don't invent anything, just what there is. Well, one thing that I noticed was you walk much quicker now. <laughs> you didn't look like you were going to sleep, you looked more awakened. But what is the sensation? No, you wake me up a little bit. Less frequent. Less frequent now. Yeah. Now, as you're walking, say to yourself, wait a minute, how did I feel when Avi was holding my shoulder, supporting? Yeah, like Re remember it? No, just walk and feel it, yeah. And then you can walk to your uh, seat. Um, I've uh, had uh, a couple of sessions with uh, Avi, and uh, I found uh, that uh, he's very mentioned uh, the ability to uh, let go. He says that a lot uh, during the session, and uh, and I felt I was able able to do that um, physically and even and uh, emotionally, and I uh, I felt uh, benefited from the session. Uh, Abby is excellent, and I, and I think you know, except the he's uh, he's um, he's a very broad person in terms of his knowledge and personality. Um, and every time I can come and, and I'll, I'll chat with him about all sorts of things and aspects, and he will give you a different aspect, and he's uh, <coughs> into a spiritual, mental, metaphysical aspect as well, um, in a non-woo way. So I would, I would definitely recommend him. I've done more than 12 sessions with him, and uh, he's excellent. Thank you very much, and thank you all.